It's Cinemassacre's Monster Madness! <laughs> okay, Frozen. The horror movie. Uh, you know what's funny is that Frozen, I've been trying to do some kind of review of this movie for years. Uh, it came out in 2010, and I remember seeing it and being like, oh, I, I gotta talk about this movie, this is great. And then, um, eventually, you know, I never had time, and then the Disney movie Frozen came out, uh, which is, you know, D Disney animated wait, mainstream. Wait a second, we're not reviewing the movie with Olaf and Oh, Anna that's what you thought we were doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you watched the wrong movie? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, so when that came out, I'm like, okay, well, mainstream Disney animated movie and horror movie, completely two different things. Um, but I was like, this is so great. We, I, I got to do it now and just not even address the, the Disney one. And of course, it, uh, I didn't get a chance to do it in time. It came out at like the worst possible time. I was too busy with everything else. And uh, it came and went, of course. The, the the Disney one became huge, huge success. Yeah. And now if you try to if, yeah, if Google you if search... If you type yeah. Frozen, you'll never find yeah. the movie that we're talking about. Now I can't even recommend the movie. I always have to like t tell people, like, oh yeah, there's this movie Frozen. You got to see it. And they're like, yeah. You know, it's like you can't even like... Yeah. It's so erased from history if, because If of you want to find this movie, you have to type Frozen 2010. You have to know the year. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, directed by Adam Green who made Hatchet. Did you ever see Hatchet? Um, I have... I own it, but I actually haven't watched it. That's the one with oh, that, that yeah. like southern dude with an axe or whatever. And he's I, I I've seen clips from it, and it's like in the Bayou or something, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it takes place in the South. Uh, it, it's a it's I mean it's like a slash movie. Not to get off topic, but it's a it's a really good one. Uh, Kane Hodder, yeah, um, uh, plays the the slasher villain, whatever. Okay. But it, so it, you're it saying has, same director? It's sort of a slash movie. It's same director, yeah, who did Frozen. He he did uh, Hatchet before. Okay, uh, Frozen. Uh, yeah, Hatchet's really great, but um, about Frozen, basically the movie is about three people stuck on a ski lift for a whole weekend. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. Mm -hmm. It's done in a pretty convincing way that they, you know... And it, I will I will say too, it, it actually, it was pretty terrifying, just the idea of being on a ski lift. Yeah. I mean, holy shit, that's fucking scary. Like, yeah, I mean, you yeah. imagine that? You're gonna, you would yeah. actually freeze to death, and that's a If you were stuck on there, yeah. Freezing to death, that's a horrible way to die, and that's a scary thought. Yeah. Yeah, scary situation. Oh, it's a great, great concept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The first, like, t 20, 25 minutes of the movie, it's kind of like this teen, mm -hmm. like, like, drama thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, man, this is, like, mm -hmm. this is not very promising. Mm -hmm. But once they get on the ski lift, it starts to get, it starts to get good. Yeah. It yeah. definitely takes time to get good. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I just love that it's such a simple idea, and it's uh, very realistic. It kind of seems like, oh, maybe that could happen, because the way they have it set up is how they're closing for the weekend, and they, you know, they don't realize there's like three people left on this one ski lift. It's definitely a situation uh, you can imagine actually happening where a lot yeah. of horror movies, it's like, oh, there's a ghost or something. It's like, all yeah. right, well, a lot of people have trouble believing something uh -huh. like that. But this is like, oh, shit, this could happen yeah. in real life. Like, there's nothing supernatural in the movie. It's just they, they get stuck on a ski lift. And, and you think, like, what would you do in that situation? And I know the first thing everybody probably thinks, even if you haven't seen the movie, is like, oh, well, maybe they, you know, just climb down, you know, grab onto the cables. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't work. And if you see the movie, you'll see why. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, I, I have a solution that it kind of, the one thing about it that pissed me off the whole mm -hmm. time is that, um, I mean, I don't want to give away how they, what happens at the end or anything, mm -hmm. but I didn't understand. You're, you're, you're in a situation where you're mm -hmm. about to die, right? Yeah. So, and, and you know that. So you would do anything to like, to, to save your life, right? Mm -hmm. And at one point, it's not too far into the movie, so I guess I can give away that mm -hmm. the one guy jumps down and all that, and which doesn't go well. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they just take their clothes off, tie them together, tie it to the thing and climb down? Hmm. I don't know. I, you know, I mean, maybe that I mean, would. Other than that, it would, they're freezing, but I don't know. Like, but I mean, yeah. if you're, you're gonna if you're, die, and, yeah. like, and like somebody could climb down, and and granted, that probably wouldn't be enough to get them yeah. all the way to the ground. It, 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 I think it would make it low enough yeah. that like they could have dropped down safely. Yeah, you know. But they and they didn't. They don't do that in the movie, uh -huh. and that pissed me off. I'm like, come on, just tie your damn clothes yeah. together. <laughs> it was stupid. And the other thing keeps going through my head is, would they survive if they just were up there until Monday? Monday morning when they open up the ski lifts again or whenever it was 
Uh, oh, I, no, I know. mean, that part is totally uh, believable, I think, yeah. because um, they would totally freeze to death. But yeah. with all the weather conditions, mm -hmm. it's snowing, it's raining. Yeah. And um, the, the girl starts to get, um, I think it's the girl from Spider-Man 2, uh, I, I believe. Um, oh, the, uh, not the main girl. The newer, the newer one. Yeah, yeah. Really? I, I think so. I could I could be wrong. I have huh. to check on that. But, um... Uh, not the, not the Tobey Maguire movies. The new, the new. Yeah, yeah. I know, the amazing. Um, yeah, story, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I like the movie a lot, and mm -hmm. it took me a while to realize that it actually was a horror movie. Because I mean, it's just a bunch of kids, and they're on a ski lift and whatever. And I'm like, how is this horror? But by the end of the movie, you're like, oh, okay, this is a horror movie. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And yeah. she has, she has a great scream, by the way. Oh yeah, she is. A, I feel like that girl is. The new this year is like oh, yeah. scream queen. I mean, uh, she does a couple screams in the movie, and I was just like, "Wow, hmm, this girl really? can scream!" Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Screams didn't stick out to me. I'll have to see it. <laughs> yeah. Remember that. But uh, what I like is about these minimal kind of horror movies that just take something really basic, uh, like uh, Phone Booth. Not a horror movie, but Phone Booth is a movie that's shot in one location. The whole movie's inside a phone booth. And it's done really well. It's great. So sometimes you can have a movie that's in one spot. Like this is in... You're pretty much in the ski lift with them the whole time. And once they get on it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the one thing I could say that might have been a little better, and this is something that's really hard to do in a movie, is to make the characters really uh, likable. I don't think they... They weren't the least likable characters. You know, it's pretty easy to make characters into like total douchebags. But yeah. uh, these characters were kind of... Eh, they were in the middle. Like they weren't that likable. But when the part comes when... Uh, I didn't mind you know, too much when they died because they were kind of douchebags. It's kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like, you know, in a horror movie, do you care if the person lives or not? Right. And this movie, I didn't care too much. But then there's this one part where they just mention like, oh, somebody's got to feed the dog. There's a dog at home that, that's that's all alone. And, he, and as soon as they bring that, they're like... Oh well, they gotta survive now because they gotta get home to yeah. feed the dog. So you care more like about the a, dog than the actual yeah, characters yeah. on the do lift. A dog that you never see, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it's like yeah, once it's you true. once you bring an animal into it, then you know. Yeah, that, that, it's such a cheap funny. way to like get you hooked, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I enjoyed the movie. It, it, it's a pretty good movie. If you haven't seen it, uh, definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not the best horror movie I've ever. It's seen. It's not the best, but, but it's, it's pretty good. Given the concept, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Hey.